Welcome to Pure Power Wrestling Power Slam. My name is Kevin Farrell, and tonight, uncut, unedited, we have the gauntlet for the gold as Travis the Heat Copeland puts the PPW Cruiserweight Championship on the line against Nasty Nate Nixon, Cyanide, the Cowboy Bryn Watts, and of course, the big sexy beast Bradley Graham and THC come out with a gold around his waist. Let's go to the ring and find out as Travis the Heat Copeland makes his way to the ring. You see PPW Commissioner Vinny Valentine standing by. I mean, it looks like he's got something to say to the champ. THC, the perennial fan favorite here in PPW, as he makes his way to the ring, the Pure Power Wrestling Cruiserweight Championship held over his head, and Vinny Valentine has got something to say. Well, I mean, there you have it. Not only will the PPW Cruiserweight Championship be on the line here, but Travis the Heat Copeland, if he wants to defend that title, is going to have to run the entire gauntlet, starting here with Nasty Nate Nixon making his PPW debut. A member of the Cat's Meow alongside Kato and Soraya Sawyer. I, I mean, Nasty Nate Nixon has taken it to every opponent that he has stepped into the ring with in his short professional wrestling career. He has gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with massive damage. He has gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the best, and tonight he is going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Travis Copeland in the first round of the Gauntlet for the Gold in hopes of knocking off the champ and walking out with the PPW Cruiserweight Championship around his waist. And I mean, making no friends here in his very first PPW appearance. Very cocky competitor, and he is going to look to knock off THC early. And he's going to have to if he wants any hope of running through three other individuals after Copeland to walk out with the PPW Cruiserweight Championship. But, I mean, don't write Travis Copeland off so soon as referee Curtis Barnum rings the bell. We are underway officially in the gauntlet for the gold. The odds stacked against THC, but these fans firmly behind the champion as these two men circle. THC looking for a collar and elbow tie-up. A little bit of mind games here from Nasty Nate. Backing off, I, I mean, he should have done his stretching in the locker room. And a collar and elbow tie-up, center of the ring, and THC takes the side headlock right away. Nasty Nate on the hair. With a reversal into a side headlock of his own. The rookie Nasty Nate shot off the ropes here by THC. And Nate runs right through Copeland with a shoulder tackle. Off the ropes, Copeland drops down. And a beautiful hip toss from THC. Nasty Nate comes around and falls it up with an arm drag. Calling him to get up. And a drop kick plants Nasty Nate. Copeland is on fire. He is on top in the opening round of the gauntlet for the gold. Comes in with a hard clothesline in the corner. Well, this crowd wants one more from THC. And Nasty Nate manages to get a boot up right to the face. And following it up with a bulldog headlock. Nasty Nate is in control. He had best capitalized if he wants any hope of unseating the champion here. Lateral press with a hook of the leg and not nearly enough. Not nearly enough to put Travis Copeland away. Nasty Nate taking far too much time between that bulldog headlock and the pinfall attempt. And head off the turnbuckle. Another head off the buckle. And just a series of heads off the turnbuckle from Nasty Nate. He has to watch that count or risk disqualification in the opening round of the gauntlet for the gold. 
measures him and drops him with a spine buster. The larger opponent, Nasty Nate. Horizontal press and only two. Travis Copeland kicking out from a thunderous spine buster by Nasty Nate. And Nasty Nate choking, choking Travis Copeland blatantly in front of the referee. Copeland now fights back. Shots to the gut. Off the ropes. Nasty Nate's got him and drops it with a Samoan drop. Calling for the end. Looking for a back press once again. Too much time taken. Too much time between the move and the pin for Nasty Nate to capitalize and get the win. THC now with a jawbreaker. He's got his opponent staggered. Shot to the gut. And a beautiful twist of fate puts Nasty Nate down. What is THC doing? He's going up top high risk early in this match. And a beautiful 420 splash. One, two, three. The first round is over. THC advances. And we are going to take a very brief commercial break before THC takes on his next opponent. Before we get to the conclusion of the Gauntlet for the Gold, let's take a moment to thank the sponsors that helped make PPW possible, starting with Backbreaker Media. The Flamin Group of Companies. RPH Irrigation Services Limited. The Smokehouse Barbecue and Bar Official After Party Location of PPW. Party Central Party Supplies. Domino's Pizza. Logic Lumber. Sam's Donairs and Hamburgers. New Light Electric. And of course, King of Trade, where you can get your tickets as PPW returns this Saturday, February 17th, at the Frick Sick Memorial Center with the 15 man over the top rope Power Rumble, who will become the number one contender for the PPW Heavyweight Championship. Find out this Saturday, but now we go right back to the ring for round two of the Gauntlet for the Gold as THC takes on Cyanide. Making his way to the ring, these two men had a brutal rivalry throughout the first half of 2017, culminating in a off-the-charts TLC match. And now he looks to knock off Travis Copeland here in the gauntlet for the gold and go on to regain that PPW Cruiserweight Championship. Collar and elbow tie-up, DHC ducks underneath. And a beautiful reversal into a headlock here. The much taller opponent, Cyanide, shot off the ropes and runs right through THC with a shoulder tackle. Off the ropes, THC drops down. And a hip toss on Cyanide. Picture perfect, textbook, Wrestling 101, just like we saw against Nasty Nate Nixon. It doesn't have to be flashy, but it gets the job done for Travis Copeland. And Copeland with a front face lock. Looks for that twist of fate. Cyanide gets out and a boot right to the jaw. Travis Copeland down, center of the ring. And this is where Cyanide will capitalize. This is where Cyanide will look to pick apart Travis Copeland and come out as the PPW Cruiserweight Champion. These two men, they know each other so well. Cyanide looking now for that side Russian leg sweep. Nails it and puts the champ down. Cyanide, though, taking too much time 
an opponent that's already been battered, already been beaten. He should be trying to capitalize, should be trying to win this match. And instead, I mean, he appears to be taking his time. He appears to be savoring this and enjoying it. The much fresher opponent looking for that face buster. And there he goes, puts THC down with that face buster that we've seen defeat so many opponents. But again, taking his time. I mean, entirely too much time. Cocky cover here, and you see the kick out at two from Travis Copeland. And I mean, PPW Commissioner Vinny Valentine at ringside here with Cyanide. Uh, hardly the impartial commissioner. Cyanide now is looking for that mask that he has carried with him to the ring ever since losing it in that TLC match against Travis Copeland. And I, I mean, perhaps we could be looking at some well, poetic justice here, but where exactly is the mask? Uh, Cyanide uh, completely, completely distracted here. Should be looking to capitalize. Referee Curtis Barnum counting. Uh, and I mean, Cyanide distracted looking for this mask. He had the match won. He is, he is completely distracted. The mask nowhere to be found at ringside. I mean, Cyanide is completely lost focused here. I, I mean, he could have had this match won. And, uh, I mean, he's been he's been counted out, ladies and gentlemen. He's been counted out, and the next opponent making his way out already. Cowboy Bryn Watts looking to get right on top of THC. THC drops him with a drop kick, a second drop kick, and a third drop kick puts down the cowboy. But did that take everything out of THC? Did that take the last of the endurance out of THC as Cowboy Bryn Watts gets right on top of him? I, I mean, I am still baffled here by Cyanide's decision to get counted out. Beautiful vertical suplex by the Cowboy. Cyanide getting counted out rather than capitalizing and knocking off the champ as THC kicks out at two. That suplex, not enough to put him down, but I, I mean, it doesn't look like he's got much left. How, after after overcoming nasty Nate Nixon and Cyanide, beautiful German suplex, how is it possible that THC could possibly go on and retain the PPW Cruiserweight Championship as he kicks out again the tenacity of THC on display in this match? The fans firmly behind THC and he's going to need to get a second wind here if he wants any hope of beating the Cowboy who is raining down forearms across the back and the neck area of Copeland. And Watts gets him up looking for that running power slam. Center of the ring with the running power slam. And only two! I mean that, that should have eliminated Travis Copeland. Copeland should be out and the Cowboy should be going on to the final round of the gauntlet for the gold. Cowboy hooking him up, looking for another suplex. Sitting him on the top rope. C could Cowboy be thinking superplex? Watts here with a shot right to the face. And another shot. I, I mean, it is Bryn Watts thinking superplex here to put Copeland away. These fans raining down booze on Bryn Watts as he looks for the superplex. He is going to superplex the Heat and he is going to walk out with the PPW Cruiserweight Championship around his waist. Travis the Heat Copeland though fighting back. Shots and an overhand chop staggering him, staggering the Cowboy again. And a third overhand chop knocks Cowboy off the middle rope. Watts back to his feet. He doesn't see Copeland coming in with a beautiful missile drop kick. Both men are down in the center of the ring. And was that the last gasp of Travis the Heat Copeland in this match? I mean, it looks like all Cowboy has to do is get up. And, and I, I mean, get any sort of offense in. THC moving so slowly after that missile drop kick. Cowboy back to his feet. THC back to his feet now. Looks like he's getting that second win from the PPW fans. Drops him with a clothesline. 
Following it up with a back elbow. And THC, where is he getting this from? Where is he getting it from? Looks for the drop kick, but Cowboy gets him out of the way. And here he goes, locking him into the Texas Cloverleaf. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the end. It's, it's all over but the crying now for THC. This is all that he could possibly have. Locked in the center of the ring in that Texas Cloverleaf from Cowboy Bryn Watts. I mean, the pain on the face of Travis Copeland. He has no hope but to reach those ropes or lose the PPW Cruiserweight Championship here and now, ladies and gentlemen. Fighting to the ropes, but here we go, Cowboy. Pulling him right to the middle of the ring. Right back to the middle of the ring. Uh, I, I mean... Referee Curtis Barnum at best check. Uh, this could be all over. Uh, well, Cowboy getting frustrated now and breaking it. And I have to agree. It looks like Copeland. It looks like Copeland may may have passed out from the pain. And Copeland now slowly making his way back up as the Cowboy distracted with the referee and Copeland with the roll up one, two, and three and manages to steal one from the Cowboy. THC has stolen one from the Cowboy who is putting his hands on a PPW official. This is absolutely disgusting, ladies and gentlemen. I, I mean, Travis Copeland winning the match fair and square and, and, and the Cowboy drops our official Curtis Barnum with a power slam in the center of the ring. And what is he doing now, folks? What What is the Cowboy doing? What is? What, well, he's got a steel chair. And, I mean, he is going to look to take out his frustrations on Travis the Heat Copeland. Uh, uh, well, I mean, THC rolls to the floor, and it is just Bryn Watts and the official in the ring as the big sexy beast makes his way to ringside for the finals of the gauntlet for the gold. You see official Curtis Barnum out on the floor. And, I mean, the story going into this match, obviously not a cruiserweight here, the big sexy beast. But, I mean, claiming the Pure Power Wrestling officials were, were body shaming him by not allowing him to participate in the gauntlet for the gold for the Cruiserweight Championship. And, I mean, after an online social media campaign, PPW officials had no choice but to relent and allow him to be in this match. But, but you see, an angry cowboy Bryn Watts getting in his face. And, uh, I, mean, I mean, the big sexy beast telling him to leave. And, and Bryn Watts, uh, it looks like he's relenting. It looks like he's leaving. No! Steel chair to the back of the big sexy beast. Wearing him out. If he can't take out his frustrations on THC, he will take him out on the big sexy beast with a series of huge, disgusting chair shots right to the back. And now putting his hands once again on a PPW official. Dragging PPW referee Curtis Barnum out. As, I mean, Cowboy, all hell is broken loose here. It looks like Cowboy is leaving. And, well, bringing out referee Shane Williams. I mean, obviously we need a referee in this match. The big sexy beast is down. THC is back to his feet. Perhaps, I mean, some, some sort of plan here from the Cowboy. Telling the big sexy beast, if I can't beat him, neither can you. It looks like Cowboy Bryn Watts may be the one that wants to end the reign of PPW Cruiserweight Champion Travis Copeland as the Big Sexy Beast tries to recover. Copeland ducks a clothesline and a series of shots here. I, I mean, they don't have much behind them, but uh, how much could THC possibly have left in the tank after defeating three other men as he ducks underneath once again? And I mean, it's just a matter of time. The Big Sexy Beast can get his hands on Copeland as he has. He has. Uh, this match should be all over. The overwhelming, overwhelming weight difference here. 369 pounds claiming that being 169 kilos allows him to compete in the PPW Cruiserweight division. I, I, I mean... Who am I to argue with PPW Commissioner Vinnie Valentine as you see the hard Irish whip corner to corner. The big sexy beast overcoming those chair shots. He is in control as he goes to the nipples. That nipple based offense of the big sexy beast to, to Travis the Heat Copeland to the champ. I mean, he's got Copeland right where he wants him. There is not much else that Travis Copeland can do in this match 
but accept defeat at the hands of the big sexy beast, our new PPW Cruiserweight Champion as he whips Copeland off. Copeland ducking underneath, the shot to the gut, and he drops him with a twist of fate. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Where is Travis Copeland getting all of this? Climbing up to the top rope, looking for that 420 splash, and nobody home. No water in the pool. Big Sexy Beast rolls out of the way, and you see the pain on the face of Travis Copeland. I, I mean, that was his last gasp, ladies and gentlemen. That was all Copeland could possibly muster. A couple of stomps from the Big Sexy Beast. Well, the Big Sexy Beast claiming a 169 kilogram splash. I do not understand how Commissioner Vinny Valentine has allowed him to compete for the PPW Cruiserweight Champion. He is looking for the Big Sexy Splat, and Travis Copeland rolls out of the way. Travis Copeland rolls out of the way and all 169 kilograms of the Big Sexy Beast comes crashing down hard in the center of the ring. Copeland now, he has to capitalize. He has to get back to his feet. The Big Sexy Beast was winded by hitting that mat hard and Copeland now slowly but surely crawling, trying to do anything in his power begging the Big Sexy Beast to get back to his feet. And Copeland with a clothesline, only able to stagger the Big Sexy Beast. Another clothesline, again, only staggering Bradley Graham. A third clothesline finally puts him down. What is Copeland going to do? How is he possibly going to capitalize? How is he possibly going to win this match as he goes up top? It looks like Bradley Graham still hasn't recovered his wind from hitting that Matt Hart on the Big Sexy Splat. And a 420 splash from Travis Copeland hooks the leg. One, two, three, and against all the odds, Travis, the Heat Copeland, has successfully defended the Pure Power Wrestling Cruiserweight Championship. I cannot believe what I have seen here this evening, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, the Iron Man, Travis Copeland, going through four other men to successfully defend the PPW Cruiserweight Championship. My name is Kevin Farrell for Pure Power Wrestling. Thank you for joining us, and tune in next week.